Today we are going to look at how to draw mouths, lips, and teeth, and also how to add variety to these features. Welcome. It's going to be a great day. And there are many styles we can use to draw them. Unrealistic cartoon drawing uses simplified shapes and lines to represent people, animals, and objects. You can pretty much do anything you want with this style. However, once you set the rules of this world, you must stay consistent with it. For instance, if the mouth opens on the side of every character's face, then you can't switch to opening the mouth from the front. We have semi-realistic line art cartoon drawing, which attempts to represent reality. And the other style is realistic, photorealistic drawing, which uses tones and values to represent reality. Now let's look at the anatomy of mouths, lips, and teeth. I feel it's important to learn the names of everything in anatomy, because if you know the names, then you will remember to draw them. So for lips, we have the philtrum ridges, Cupid's bow, the upper vermilion border, tubercles, oral commissures, the lower vermilion border, and the furrow. There are a lot of names with big words. How about we make this easier and think of them as shapes? The top bump, the sharp edge, flat with a roll at the end, the roll you mostly see when you're using tone, the ridge, bottom bumps, lip corners. These are more pronounced on a man than on a woman. And the furrow. Now for the mouth, we have the palate, upper lip, the uvula, the inside of the cheek, the tonsil, the tongue, teeth, the retromolar trigon, the gums, and the lower lip. For the teeth, we have the central incisor, lateral incisor, canine, first premolar, second premolar, the first molar, the second molar, and the third molar. And on the lower, we have molars, premolars, canine, and incisors. Now, it's probably not necessary to know all the names of these, but I think it helps as I said. Now, let's look at the different types of lips. Bottom heavy lips. bow shaped lips, downward turned lips, we have full lips, there's heart shaped lips and that has a prominent cupid's bow, round lips, small lips, thin lips, then we have top heavy lips, wide lips, Women's lips are shown as examples because when you draw a man's lips, you're not going to draw the lines of the top lip. Now it's very important to use planes when constructing the mouth and, it's, and the lips. The upper lip has three planes. The lower lip has four planes. The upper lip is flat and angular. The lower lip is full and round. The mouth shape is influenced by the bone and teeth which it covers. Mouth and lips are in the lower third of the face. When the head is tilted, use the center measurement line to help create a three-dimensional face. Also emphasize the underplanes so that the angle is unmistakable. Construction. Although the bones will not be visible, we must think about them as the foundation for the head.
When teeth are visible, never draw each individual tooth using lines. When you draw lines between each tooth, it looks like gaps between them. Instead, slightly indicate each tooth at the gum line and with a slight indentation to indicate the shape of the tooth. Your top teeth should sit in front of your bottom teeth. This allows the top molars to join together correctly with your bottom molars, enables your teeth to cut through your food when you chew it. In the side view, the pointed ends of the upper teeth should fit perfectly between two teeth on the bottom, while the upper teeth should sit slightly in front of your lower teeth. In the front view, the edges of your top teeth should follow the curve of your bottom lip. Teeth are not in this usual sitting position will be an overbite, underbite, or crossbite. Everyone's teeth are different and there's no normal. The mouth is one of the many separate pieces fitted in place on the bones of the head. The rounded piece that contains the mouth can be thought of as a barrel or muzzle. The mouth must fit around the curve of the front teeth, upper and lower jaws. Often it is drawn as if the mouth is flat. Now, once you understand the basic measurements and divisions, try some variations. If you get too hung up on these as law, then you will always draw the same generic mouth. Vary the proportions and create variety, just like in real life. Now the muscles. As the corners of the mouth are pulled back to laugh or smile, the upper lip becomes straighter and the lower lip becomes more curved. The upper teeth are visible. We usually only see the lower teeth in extreme mouth actions. The lip corner depressions are more noticeable when laughing and smiling. The lower lip is always the same distance from the bottom of the chin in a regular smile or laugh. The reason is the distance between the top upper lip and the bottom of the nose is lessened, is squeezed together. This doesn't apply when the mouth is yelling or with a hilarious laugh when the jaws open much wider or whenever the mouth is open wider when surprised or shocked. The mouth mechanics. Balance the forms on both sides of your middle construction line. The bones are fixed in place. The jaw only opens and closes. The expressions of the mouth are what fit in between. So really you're distorting the mouth from its normal sitting resting position. Now to get more variety in your faces, you want to observe your family and friends and practice drawing them. And also keep in mind that the lips are not the same for every character. And lips are gonna differ for every person. And between races, lips are definitely gonna be different. So you want to pay attention to the subtlety of those differences or to emphasize those differences. So again, you will learn that from observation, practice, and studying uh, faces. And in this case, we're talking about the mouths, lips, and teeth. So practice, 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 observe, 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 and draw, draw, draw. And that concludes our tutorial for today. Well, that's all for today. If you've learned something today, this has value to you. Please like, share, and comment. I'd like to hear from you. And subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And remember, just create.